we come to the monastery, John Sawat used to call this a quiet corner, a place where you can get away from the affairs of the world and get to know your own mind. But we can't all stay here in the quiet corner all the time. We have to go back out into the world. So what you need to do is learn the skill of taking a quiet corner with you. You can't take the monastery with you, but you can take the skills that create that sense of a quiet corner inside. A place where the mind can settle down and be itself, even in the midst of other activities. In other words, this is your standing point as you juggle the rest of, rest of your responsibilities. Too many people think that well, this is just adding one more thing that you have to juggle. But actually, this is giving you a good place to stand as you juggle other things. And you can step back from them and see what's important, what's not important, and learn how not to get involved, learn how not to put up a big sail so that the winds of the world don't blow you around. So make the most of this opportunity to, to, to perfect the skill of keeping the mind centered no matter what's happening. You're here with the breath. The breath is your home. Now make it home-like. Make it comfortable, make it refreshing, energizing when you need more energizing, relaxing when you're tense. Learn to use the breath as a kind of medicine. That way you can maintain a healthy stance wherever you go. That's the skill that you can take from here. Learning how to make use of the fact that you've got this body, you've got this mind. And you can learn how to bring them together so they each strengthens the other. The mind looks after the breath, and that way it improves the health of the body. And the body gives you a place to stay. To use another analogy, it's like having a house. If the owner is away from the house all the time, insects come in, and then animals come in, and then mold develops here and there, because there's no one looking after the house. The owner comes back, and it's not a good place to stay, so the owner leaves again. Things just get worse and worse. But if you stay here in the house and fix it up, then the insects can't come in, the animals don't come in, and the mold doesn't develop. It actually becomes a nice place to stay. You can decorate it, you can arrange the furniture any way you like. So it becomes a place where you feel at home. And then when the mind has to go out, it goes out because it has business, but it comes back to a good place because it doesn't go out long. That's one of the kind of skills you can develop as you're here. A home, a quiet corner that you can take with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm.